All parties in the matter of Gamble versus Evans. Step forward. 21-year-old Jaded Gamble is suing fellow party goer, 23-year-old George Evans III, for accidentally knocking out her tooth with a beer bottle. Miss Gamble, it is your claim that the defendant is responsible for a broken tooth of yours. This happened at a party. The party was when? The party was on February 4th, 2017. At whose residence or what venue? Uh, I'm not sure. It was a house party for college. House party in whose house? I'm, I'm not sure whose house it was. It was a at. basketball party by, uh, by basketball players. Like, they're owned by basketball players at the University of Laverne. And it was a basketball player's house? Yeah, it's like they're all roommates and they just do a party. So it's, we call it the basketball house. What year student are you? Oh, we, we both graduated. We were seniors at the time. What time did the party start? Maybe around 10 p.m. Yeah. She doesn't know about anything. Is it that you don't know about anything? No, it's just the, the, the way the, the parties are, it's, it's kind of weird there. You don't really know who throws them. They just send you an I address. I just said, when did it start? It's, I got there around 11. I'm not... You got started. there at 11? Yeah. Where had you been before 11? I was at my house getting ready. And what time did this incident take place? I believe about 12.30 to 1. So it took place at 1 p.m. What time had you gotten to the party? I was there around 10.45 p.m. because I, I caught a ride with my friends. How many people did you come with? I came by myself. I was meeting friends there. And you did meet friends there? Yes. If you had to guesstimate how many drinks that you had from between 11 and 1, what would you say? I didn't have any drinks, Your Honor. No alcohol? Yes. And how many drinks would you say you had, Mr. Evans, between the time you got there at 10.45 and 1 o'clock? Two. Now I'd like you to describe the incident, how this happened. So I had met up with my friends there, and they were drinking, and one of them had to go to the bathroom, and she wanted me to go with her. So I was walking her, I walked her through the house, we were outside. I walked her through the house, and I was, as I was walking into the... Your friend who was drinking was drinking too much? Yes. Okay, so you were helping her to the bathroom? Yes. Go yes, ahead. Your Honor. Um, and as I was walking into the hallway, the George here was standing by the hallway dancing and he had risen his beer bottle and it hit the bottom of my tooth right there. Tell me how it happened. That is definitely not what happened. Uh, I can tell you everything that happened. Um, I was with my friends, we were, we were a group of guys. It was me, two other people, and we met up with my, my friend Maddie and her friends. And, uh, we were all in a group, in a circle, we were dancing. You know, my favorite song came on. Uh, I think it was Migos, like Bad and Bougie. So, you know, I started dancing. And I had my hands in there like this. Like, I was just swinging back and forth. And then all of a sudden, I heard like a thump on my, my bottle. And then I turned around, and it's just her. And she bent over like this. And then I was like, I grabbed my phone immediately, like, oh, are you okay? Like, I had the flashlight, and all my friends were concerned as well. It was like, oh, it's just a two. I thought she was bleeding, so I just, I felt, like, concerned. Like, I thought it was my fault. So I was just like, I'm sorry. You got to pay for half a tooth. It was an accident, but it was both your faults. You should have been looking more carefully where you were going. You should have been more careful with what you were doing with the bottle. Yeah. Got it? It's I mean, bad. this isn't rocket science. You certainly didn't mean to hurt you. You certainly didn't mean to walk into a bottle. <laughs> But I believe you when you say she wasn't drinking, right? Yeah. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. How much was the tooth? The tooth was $1,200. I've got this. Okay. Is that a, your whole dental bill, $1,200? Yes. Is that correct? Can I see that for... Sure. Okay. It's a simple thing. When you go to a party with a lot of drunks, you have to be more careful. You have to be careful where you're walking, especially when you're walking with a drunk. And when you've been drinking and dancing, you have to be careful about what's going on around you. Neither one of you anticipated that this accident would take place. So I actually think that it's fair to split the responsibility between the two of you. So judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $600 will be done.